Hi, welcome to Maggie Chats Books. Last year I read quite a few new female authors that I really enjoyed and many of their books were in my top books of 2017. So I thought I would continue that and try new authors, or new female authors in 2018. So I went through my bookshelves and there are quite a few books I have from female authors that I haven't read any of their books yet. So in effort to get my TBR bookshelf down and also try some new authors, I thought I would pick 10 female authors that I really wanted to read new books from or books from this year. So I'm going to show you the books that I have and if you have read these authors and think there's even a better book or one that I should read first, please let me know. But these are the 10 authors that I've chosen to read in 2018. And I'm going to do these in alphabetical order of the last name. So the first one is Rilla Askew, and this is Strange Business. This is her first book. She is a Native, um, Native Oklahoman who has written quite a few books um, about Oklahoma. Fictional books, but sometimes based on real facts. So I thought I would give her a try. The next author is Kate Atkinson. I've heard so many good things about this author. This is Behind the Scenes at the Museum. I know she has several other books and I've seen other booktubers talk about books that they like. I believe she writes kind of a mystery, maybe, but um, I'm going to read this one. And if you have other suggestions for her, please let me know. The next book is by Sue Bristow and this is Sealskin. I've also heard a lot about this book on booktube. It is a story about a woman, uh, the Silkies, I believe they're called, where women turn into seals or seals turn into women. And I believe it's she's Scottish and that's kind of a Scottish legend. So I wanted to read this one. I think this one was talked about by um, Mercy, um, Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings. The next book I picked up because it's bookshop on the corner so any book about a bookshop is one I want to read and this is Jenny Colgan I don't know what else she's read I mean what else she's written but I wanted to read this book just because it's about a bookshop so if she has other books and this one's good I'll continue reading books from her the next author is E. Lockhart and this is We Were Liars this book I am hope to read this month and it is a story about four friends that apparently aren't very truthful and the consequences that happen when they start telling lies, I think. And um, th this one is another one, I, uh, this author is another one I've heard about on book two. The next author is Kate Morton and it's The Forgotten Garden is the book I have. This book, I believe, is where a young girl is placed on a ship and she ends up in Australia. If I'm not mistaken, I might have this confused with some other book. But Kate Morton is another author that I heard quite a bit about on BookTube and I wanted to read this. I already have a bookmark in here, so I must have picked it up thinking I was going to read it, but I hadn't gotten to her yet. The next book is one that is by Sarah Perry. It is The Essex Serpent. This has been on my TBR a couple of months last year. I just never got to it and I really want to read this one. This is one that I predicted would be a five star book for me. So I do want to finish that and kind of wrap that up to see what books I feel were five stars that I predicted. And this book has gotten great reviews on booktube and so I had to pick this one up too. Plus the cover is outstanding. The next book is, or author, is Mary Stewart. This is The Ivy Tree. I believe she writes mysteries. I thought the cover was just marvelous. Kind of an English manner with a um, kind of spooky tree. And um, a lot of people talked about Mary Stewart during um, October when they were reading kind of mysteries and things like that. So we'll see how this one is. The next author is Amy Tan. This is The Bonesetter's Daughter. I'd heard a lot about this book probably two years ago or a year or more ago and found this at the Half Price Bookstore so I picked it up, put it on my shelf and hadn't picked it up again. 
She has other books. This is the one, just when I looked at the title, that I had heard something about. I can't remember what it's about, but wanted to read something by Amy Tan to see how I liked her. And the last author is Donna Tartt, and this is The Goldfinch. It's a Pulitzer Prize winning novel, which is also another goal I had this year to read more Pulitzer Prize novels or runner-ups or nominated books. And I had this one. I think this is another one I got at the Half Price Bookstore and um, wanted to give Donna Tartt a try. This book has gotten mixed reviews. There are some people that love this book and there are some people that just couldn't get into it. So I'm anxious to see where I fall for this book. So those are the authors that I want to try this year. If you, again, know any other books from these authors that I would be better off reading or if these books that I've picked aren't the best of these authors, please let me know. That is all for now. I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.